Hi guys, this is Alex. Welcome to my shave. Today is Friday, July the 28th, and uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, today we're going to be using the Parasso Green, and then we're going to be using the pre-shave Parasso, and then aftershave is going to be the fine, very nice stuff. And after that, we're going to use our Nivea little post shave. And then a little Gucci. Hello. Now we'll be using our little bowl here. This is a nice little bowl. It's got this little guy here. You just wrap your thumb around it. Feels perfect. We're going to be using the Omega Boar's Hairbrush. I think it's the uh, 11126. If I'm not 100%. But that's the Omega with the wooden handle very nice little brush a little smaller than normal but there it is now what I did here I had the uh, Edwin Jagger uh, with this handle on it what I did was I switched but I saw Uncle L do it Uncle L shaves and uh, <laughs> I said why not I'll try it myself this had the lavender handle on it the Edwin Jagger well actually I switched the handles from the Jagger and I put the Jagger head on here with the ground day handle and I just switched the handles to the R89. This is the D89 by Edward Jagger and this is the R89 by Mule. I'm sorry, by Merker. I'm getting confused. <laughs> anyway, so what I do is just switch handles with it. So that's what we're going to be using today. And in the in the razor itself, I put a uh, Gillette Blue from Russia in there. We're going to be trying that out today. I've used this blade one time in the little review we did on the blades. So this will be the second time I'll be using it. So let's get right into it. I'm going to take a little bit of this. Parasso cream. I'm just going to take a little bit of it and put it on my finger and just kind of mash it in the bowl. Just mash it in there. Kind of get it squashed in the bottom. Give my brush something to grab onto instead of rolling it around. Like that. See? Got it? Now, we take our brush. It's Damp, and we go round and round, creating a nice lather. I wanted to show you guys something about the brush that I told you guys about. Well, the sound didn't come out in my video last time I made it, and uh, I was talking about the brush that I ordered for my grandsons. And what they sent me, and I'll show you that in a second, once we get this going. Okay, now we're getting a little lather here. I'm going to take a little water. And I'm going to spray it in with my spray. It's a little different. I like it. A little neater. Kind of gives me a little more control. Might take a little longer than uh, I normally do, but we're just going to sit back. Again, I'm sorry it took me so late to get, I was supposed to do this video on Wednesday. Didn't quite make it, had too many things going. Uh, I am feeling a little better on my breathing. I think the weight had a lot to do with it. But I still have a problem when I overexert myself a little, but I think the weight had a lot to do with that that was getting up there and we got pretty much what we need right now okay I think I got enough I got plenty looks good okay let me put my pre-shave on and then we can get to the shave. 
hope everything's still running and my batteries are working. I got, the, <laughs> I got everything charged up, hopefully. And we'll see how that works. Okay, pre-shaves coming on now. Let me water up my face a little bit. Just a little dampness. Get out of the way. We're going to be using that green Parasso Eucalyptus. Very menthol y. I do believe myself, or I find it, the one in the tub, the green tub, instead of the tube. I think it has more menthol flavor or feeling, or I can feel the menthol. I think it's stronger. Okay, got enough on that. Put my brush back up there. Rinse that off. We're good to go. I certainly hope that everybody's doing good out there. And doing what you love to do. But by golly, life is too short not to do it. Okay, we got our shaving cream on. We're going to warm up our razor blade with the Gillette from Russia. I guess you call it Gillette Platinum Blue. Okay, guys, now I'm going to put on my. Uh, Shaving cream. Hang on, here we go. Ah. Been doing a little projects. I've been feeling better, so I felt, well, let me see if I could do some projects around the house. Because I wasn't able to, and I really missed it. I kind of like a little handy guy around the house, but I haven't been too handy lately. But anyway, here we go. I uh, had a fluorescent light that needed to be fixed. It was really dimming. And uh, to be honest with you, I got tired of replacing those fluorescent lights. And they kept dimming. So I looked online and they, they had this thing that's called a LED fluorescent. And I gave that a try. And I thought I had to do all kinds of wiring and all that stuff. That's another story, which I did the wiring. Then I found out I didn't have to do the wiring. So I put everything back the way it was. I just put the tube in. It worked perfect. And more light. Supposed to last for 36,000 hours, however long that is. And we'll see how it happens. It's a little more expensive. It's like $11.50 each bulb. This is a 48-inch. I don't think the shorter ones are that much less. But anyways... It works great. So that was my little labor I did around the house. Okay, here we go. I can hear this thing cutting nicely. Like I said earlier, we used it once in our reviews of the blades. This is the second time I'm using it. Kind of feels good to get this off my face because it's been like four or five days, four days, I think. So now my schedule is changing. So probably the next time I'll be shaving is not Sunday, but probably Tuesday. Okay. This razor is a great razor. This is the uh, D89 by Edwin Jagger. Very comfortable, very similar to the D89. R89. There's so many different things. I'm getting sick of it. Uh, the the Merker. It's almost identical. But I can hear it really cutting through that beard. Hope I don't get nicked. Okay.
That went nicely. I was happy about that. Okay, let's go do cross cutting. It was nice and easy. So very good. You guys got to try these Edward Jaggers. Thank you, Uncle El. Uncle El Shaves. That's his handle. He's in Australia. Great guy. Fun to watch. Makes the best slather you've ever seen in your life. If you want to learn how to make lather, that's the guy to go watch. I don't do nearly as much as he does. He just gets into it. God bless him. He's good. Okay, we're doing a cross cut, boys. Here we go. Nice cross cut. In some case, you call it the uppercut. Cross cut on the north face. The reason I call it the north face was north is that way. <laughs> okay. Very, very nice. Yes, you guys been hearing what's going on with this politics. Getting pretty crazy out there, guys. Hang on, there's more to this show than you. <laughs> Meets the eye. Okay, one more time, we're going for the... <sighs> Up, up and down, we'll ride the cap. Uh, <laughs> cross green, up green, against the green, all kinds of green. Okay. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to, I wonder my hands are so slip. I forgot to do our magic elm rock. Thank you, Uncle Elm again. I don't know what I do without him. Okay, here we go. Get some of that stuff out of my nose. Okay. We're going upstairs. Here we go. Well, I can still hear it cutting. Makes a difference. Okay, back to the north side. We'll do this again. Here we go. Not much left there, boys. Slicker than a pig snot. I heard that somewhere. I can't tell you where. It might have been Mark Twain. Anyway, <laughs> let me rinse off. I'll get right back to you. Hello again. It's me. I'm still here. And hopefully you're still there. And you can hear me. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, I do know now when the sound went out. Well, when the sound went out last week on my recording, well, it lost my hearing aid. Yep, I got a hearing aid. That's what happens when you get old. 
Okay. When the song went out last week, I keep forgetting to finish my sentences. When I start something, I forget. I did not charge the little microphone. I have a little microphone that I put here, and I forgot to charge it. And Ten minutes into my show last week, died out. Anyways, let's put on our aftershave. Which is defined, not defined, just fine. I keep saying defined. It's not defined. It has a different uh, aroma. I can feel the burn, but it has a different aroma. It's more, I don't know, I want to say liquidy. I don't know, it's not. It's, it's just a nice, nice, uh, oh, here, that Nivea. Okay, that feels great. This feels smooth as silk. A little bit of my ears. Wet my hands down just a little bit. Let's put on some cologne. We're almost ready. Man, do I smell good for myself. <laughs> okay. A couple of things I want to get to you guys. You remember when I told you guys I, uh, anyway, that's our shave. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I sure did. It was nice. Feels really refreshing. Uh, this Parazzo in the tub, I'll guarantee you, is stronger than the one in the tube. You give it a try. Try the difference. And it actually makes your face feel colder. I like it very much. Uh, anyways, let's get back to uh, what we're talking about. I bought a brush for my uh, grandson. For both of them. One lives here with me in California. And the other one lives in Georgia. So... If you guys remember, I ordered this brush from Yaki, and I told you guys it went for $15 on sale. It was like $35, something like that. So it went on sale. I said, you know what? I'm going to buy the boys a couple brushes because I like it so much. So I ordered two of them, but these came from China, not from uh, West Coast Shave. Last time, the, the, this one, I think, came from West Coast Shave, the local here in California. Anyways, Yaki from China sent me the brushes sent one to my grandson in uh, Georgia, sent one to me here in California. Let me show you what they sent me. This is what they sent me for $14.99 plus tax, cost 16 bucks. This is what I wanted. This is a Badger silver tip with a beautiful handle, and it says Yaki on the bottom. This doesn't say anything on the bottom. This is a small little baby brush. Look in comparison. What it is. That's what they sent me. I've been playing around with this just for the hell of it. I, I uh, kind of broke it in, stuff like that. I haven't used it yet. I might try it on one of the shows. I wasn't going to try it today, but I said, eh, I'll try it some other time. But that's what they sent us. I got on Amazon right away. Thank God I got it from Amazon. And they took care of it. The people over there in China said, just go ahead and keep the brush. We don't want to see it no more. Oh, okay. So I might paint with it. Maybe I'll do a little painting with it. But anyway, that's what I wanted. That's what I got. Be careful. And if they, if you work through Amazon, it's not a problem. They'll fix it. Fix it. <laughs> They'll fix it. Anyways, that's our shade today. Uh, I have one more little thing before I go. I talked to you guys last week about doing little quotes, and I did have some quotes from you guys. Uncle L sent me one, but one I got from my compadre, uh, <laughs> Stephen, uh, my ghostwriter, and I just told him, like I told you guys, uh, 
I'm, I'm blanking out here. I told you guys that I might do it. Well, he got right on it. And he sent me a, a list of Mark Twain sayings. And the one that he sent me the other day, it hit true, especially what's going on in today's world. So let me read this one to you, and then we'll say goodbye. And I might just be doing this on every video I do, throw in a Mark Twain or somebody's quote at this time. So here we go. This is from Mark Twain. The truth has no defense against the fool determined to believe a lie. Uh, that's pretty strong because you ain't going to win if he's got it in here that he believes what he believes, even though it's a lie. The truth has no defense against a fool determined to believe a lie. Well, there it is, our Mark Twain quote for today. Might have them on next time. We'll see what happens. If you guys got any want me a quote, I'll be happy to do it. Uh, Stephen, just keep them coming. I love you, buddy. Uh, Uncle L, I like the one that you had too. Uh, anyways, you guys take care. This is Alex. I hope you guys enjoyed the shave. We're 21 minutes already. It's pretty long. Uh, you guys take care. God bless America. And that's no lie. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Alex out.